Hello. A month ago, I released my last drill into Gilat, and since then, we have had the Q2 earnings release, and they were big. What's happened in the last month? Actually, what has happened since the massive $22 high back in February? The stock tanked and sold off big to $9 levels and has remained there since April. This is one big time stretched out dip buying opportunity if I've ever seen one. Dip, dip, baby. As Egyptian American economist, chief economic advisor at global giant Allianz, and I hope I don't butcher his name, Mohammed A. L. Arian, said recently on CNN that the entire market behavior has changed and it seems everyone is looking for the dips to buy the dips. The market conditioning is so strong to buy on dips. And why did we come back? Just because we were down? I mean, was it... We didn't come... Let me tell you why we didn't come back. We didn't come back because growth concerns have disappeared. They're still there. We didn't come back because inflation fears have disappeared. They're still there. And we didn't come back because the Fed somehow is not going to taper earlier. The reason why we came back is that this market is deeply conditioned to buy the dips. And it has worked extremely well, and the market will continue to buy the dips. You need a major shock to this marketplace to shake out this behavioral conditioning. Okay, fast forward to today, five months later. We are still floating around $10 levels. But what has Keylart done? No surprises. Even in the last few weeks, we have had huge news of more contract wins. There are some big rumors going around concerning the iPhone 13 using satellite connectivity and the rumors surrounding this involves competitor Global Star. But what does this mean for the future of Gilart's 5G connectivity? What are we going to expect for the next few months moving forwards for Gilart? And what does my updated DCF model tell me? Stay tuned for this and more. Keep it simple. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a simple trader looking for WPG situations. Yes, explosive exponential potential growth. So please note, this is all for entertainment only. No more plugging. Let's start drilling. First, let's rewind and look at the numbers in the last earnings call, which were quite explosive. That barely moved the stock up over 1.6% on the Day. Revenues were reported to be $56.9 million, which is a 49% increase year over year. Are you kidding me? And 27% increase from the previous quarter. We knew this was inevitable with all the contracts they announced over the months that time takes to roll in the revenues. Operating loss has been cut down from $3.5 million to $0.3 million year over year. And similarly, cut down from 3.7 million loss in the previous quarter. Operating income turned a massive positive from a huge negative deficit both year over year and as compared with the previous quarter. I think that's enough said. Same trend for net loss and net income. Even adjusted EBITDA came in at $2.5 million compared with 0.1 million year over year and an EBITDA loss of 1.4 million in the previous quarter. Holy smokes. The title of the press release was Gilart reports strong results in second quarter 2021 and oh my god they were and what have we drilled in before. These are the key announcements. As a little reminder, a tier one US terminal provider awards Gilart a contract over $5 million for solid state amplifiers. Gilart's global mobility platform was selected by SCS in another multi-million dollar order. Gilart receives another multi-million dollar award from US Army to supply high performance bucks for tactical communications. Gilart signed a strategic agreement estimated at over $5 million for delivery of broadband coverage in Alaska, where Gilart received $2 million in orders for support of low Earth orbit constellation. Gilart awarded multi-million dollar contract to provide satellite communication equipment for defense forces in Asia. Gilart awarded $9 million in orders for low Earth orbit constellations. Gilart awarded multiple projects for armed forces in Latin America. Gilat awarded contract to supply communication equipment for military usage. Gilat awarded a massive $13 million contract by ProNatal for delivery of internet services to hundreds of sites in Peru. Gilat extends multi-million dollar IoT project in Latin America. Gilat 
awarded over $4 million in orders for low earth orbit constellation again. Telefonica Global Solutions selects Guy Lart to equip strategic teleport in Africa. Chile, I think, like me, you must be getting a sense of positivity coming from the Guy Lart's business, right? As legendary investor George Soros once said, the hardest thing to judge is what level of risk is safe. That is when fundamental analysis can help to ground any investment thesis based solely on the numbers and determine if any given stock is trading below its intrinsic value, thereby representing a value investment and minimization of risk. You've heard it all before, buy low, sell high. When I first drilled into Guy Lot, my DCF model was showing an intrinsic value of $15. Since then, Guy Lot has two metrics within my DCF model that have changed the outcome if I run it again today. They have lowered their debt from $8.9 million to 4.3, wow, and have increased their initial cash flow from $47 million to $62 million. This is huge, and the intrinsic value now comes out at a massive $20, meaning based on this current price, the stock in my valuation has a 100% upside. Of course, as I always said, a DCF model is just a DCF model. A Gila update would not be complete without the news of more contract wins, and here they are. On the 3rd of August, Gilart released that they had been selected by SCS in a multi-million dollar order. The agreement solidifies Gilart's maritime leadership with initial services to top cruise lines and maritime service providers who will be able to access satellite-enabled services delivered by SCS's 03B Empower and geostationary fleet through Gilart's multi-orbit platform. On the 5th of August, Gilart announces that a tier 1 US terminal provider has awarded Gilart over $5 million for solid state amplifiers powering militaries worldwide. On 19th of August, Gilart announces that SCS, the leader in global content connectivity solutions, awarded Gilart a multi-million dollar contract for multiple broadband applications in Latin America. Gilart's multi-service platform will support SES in cellular backhauling, enterprise and universal service obligation projects as SES extends services into Latin America with the deployment on new regional hubs. And perhaps the biggest, on 2nd of September, Guy Lot announced that it received additional, let me stress that again, additional orders of $17 million for support of gateways of low earth orbit LEO constellations. Gilart's subsidiary Wavestream was chosen to supply these solid state amplifiers to a leading satellite operator to support the LEO constellation gateways and the orders were received as part of a previously announced contract. One massive news semi-related to Gilart is the explosive explosion of rival satellite network provider Global Star, ticker symbol GSAT. Its massive explosion this week, where it popped over 60% in one day, was on the back of rumors that Apple's iPhone 13 will utilize its satellite network directly. This is clearly showing me news like this will send frenzy into the market. We know Gila is capable of such 5G over satellite services, and so what is the chance Gila could offer something like this in the near future? To summarize, Gila is looking very ripe for picking right now. At sub $10 levels, to me, it represents obscene value. Q3 earnings are projected to come in November, only two months away, and these earnings could be the biggest yet. As the world economy start recovering, I think Gilart will further expand with more contract wins as the entire world is looking at a tech revolution. Gilart is one of these companies that is providing the enabling services to enable this to happen. Thanks for watching, and please note, I'm extremely bullish on Gilart. So please take this drill with additional precaution and always do your own due diligence. If you are interested in other WPG stocks that I have in my Freedom portfolio, please check out my other videos and consider, go on, consider, just consider subscribing to my channel so you get a pop-up 
when a new video is uploaded. I am a simple trader. I try to keep this one simple and will simply see you in the next video.